Hello there guys, welcome to Dero's Vault. I am super pumped up to bring you my review of the sensational launch from Mahindra that is creating waves in the Indian automobile scene. This is the Scorpio N or shall we call it Scorpion, whatever it is, this opens up N number of possibilities to take the market by storm. Mahindra have done it, pulled it off in grand style. That's what I'd like to call it. When you look at it in flesh, it not just looks like the big daddy of SUVs, it looks like the Hulk in the Hulk Buster armor. This is an absolute beast of a machine. So let's start with the design. You have a look at this. This is a proper body on frame construction. So it is built with ultra high strength steel. So rugged rock solid body structure. And then you have the proper Scorpio DNA and the Scorpio bloodline, the genes uh, being incorporated into this beast. But it looks larger than life. Look at the grill. You have uh, the chrome uh, accents right here, the new Mahindra logo the double barrel LED lights and uh, they look absolutely stunning and first in segment projector LED fog lamp along with a scorpion tail uh, kind of uh, DRL that uh, really really highlights its persona and underscores the rugged beastly design lurking underneath. Coming to the profile here you can see the massive 18 inch wheels that offer superb road grip and Great confidence while you're pushing it to the limits in the triple digit speeds. Here you have the step board again highlighting the rugged SUV character. The body cladding runs all around. Then you have a character line flowing right through the bodywork. Chrome door handles, uh, power adjustable outside rear view mirrors with integrated turn indicators. Body cladding all around, flared wheel arches. This is a true beast in and of itself and Mahindra have absolutely nailed it with the design. You can see the subtle design influences that underscore the scorpion character here. For instance, you have the chrome lining with the tail of the scorpion and uh, roof rails again look made of very good quality material. Here you have an integrated spoiler with a stop lamp right over here and then you have the vertically laid out uh, tail lamp cluster again all LED again reminds us of the older uh, Scorpio gives us a glimpse of that older Scorpio character but this is completely new built completely new from the ground up be it the chassis be it the suspension be it the powertrains everything is new and everything is here to set new standards have a look at the chrome abundance of chrome being used a lot of chrome garnish uh, at the uh, rear bumper here you have the rear skid plate the spare spare wheel is mounted underneath the tailgate opens up nice and neatly we'll show you the boot space in a while but for now you can come around here and have a look as to how masculine and how intimidating and how imposing this one looks in the flesh Trust me, the camera doesn't do justice. This thing is an absolute beast that is here to reclaim its life and absolutely rule the segment. Okay guys, so now that I've shown you the exterior, the interior is on a completely different level. When you look at this dash, look at the startup animation, look at the animation over here. The Adrenox uh, infotainment system is absolutely fantastic. We're going to try and start this up because it is getting nice and humid not nice actually really really humid out there so we have to maintain the cabin temperature such that i can talk uh, without feeling fatigued you can see the leather uh, this thing 
finishing on the dash uh, the brown and black kind of dual tone finish looks super premium here you have the massive 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system here you have all the buttons uh, like uh, automatic start stop system which you can start and stop i mean you can turn it on or off traction control on or off hill descent control on or off here you have the rear view camera uh, this thing dedicated button where you can turn it on without uh, slotting the gear into reverse and uh, this is the display for the rear view camera it is nice and clear but the display angle is way too small so if you want to large uh, enlarge this one just press on this uh, it should yeah here you have the clear view of what's happening behind you it doesn't uh, it does offer adaptive guidelines and uh, dynamic guidelines so that's another major plus and here multiple view options this is a wider angle view this is uh, both the sides view on both the sides and then you can get back into the standard uh, this thing so this you have parking sensors up front as well as parking sensors at the back camera up front as well as camera at the back another major plus is the sony 12 speaker uh, 3d immersive sound system that offers class leading uh, sound quality and trust me you have to set it up properly if you leave it in the default settings it might not impress you much but when you set the graphic equalizer the way it is supposed to be according to the genre of music you are listening to then the music really comes alive and makes you feel that you are actually in a, a live uh, performance then of course you have uh, navigation support and connected car features up to 70 connected car features are uh, being offered courtesy of adrenox uh, connected car uh, this thing technology that Na mahindra have on offer you can start and stop the car you can turn on the ac turn off the ac and then of course you can uh, put geofencing you have all the trip details and uh, drive statistics available at the palm of your hands thanks to the connected car feature then once you get into the settings here you have uh, lots of uh, settings to play around with be it the audio you have sound field positioning here you have the equalizer which you can turn uh, you have dedicated subwoofer settings and then you have digital sound enhancement engine okay now uh, you have alexa initiated voice command feature when you say alexa open the sunroof it will open the sunroof and then of course you have the dedicated buttons to do it yourself manually and uh, you have a talk converter gearbox this is a 2 liter uh, turbo petrol engine that puts out 203 bhp of max power and 380 newton meters of max torque okay so this is the speedo animation you have uh, the speedo listed on the right you have the tachometer on the left uh, it uh, is asking me to wear the seat belt yeah we are uh, static now so that's not necessary and uh, the here you can navigate through different uh, options the digital speed if you want you can engage the digital speed and uh, double click this and you have the digital speed or readout get into the if you want to get into the vehicle info just click on that and there you have uh, the tire pressure monitoring system get into the settings here you have passenger airbag drowsiness detection tire pressure monitoring and tire fill assist sound system everything can be adjusted from the 7 inch uh, uh, mid uh, system so guys getting into the second row let's see how is the leg room man you have abundance of leg room here with the scooped out uh, front seat backs and uh, even the headroom is very well sorted for people up to six feet tall and uh, second row seating is good enough for three adults is what i feel you also have an armrest right here with cup holders and then of course you get wireless android auto and apple carplay which has become a standard uh, feature that you come expecting in a car of this price range also the minute touches the attention to detail like the aluminium rings on the control dials really really add on to the premium feel uh, i love the double stitching on this and the brown leather finish the air vents are nice and large so they really cool the cabin uh, effectively and efficiently and then of course you have a cool glove box right over here good utility spaces all around cubby holes right over here and uh, wireless charging uh, dock right over here to slot your phone and uh, bottle holders on the doors as well so guys getting into the third row is also pretty easy just one touch tumble climb on the step board get into the third row i am close to five feet seven inches so getting in is not much of a hassle and even the 
Seating at the back is manageable for city runs, quick fire runs to the city malls or the multiplexes. You can uh, manage as adults if you are around my size. Uh, but uh, six footers and all, there's no way they can feel comfortable here. So let's have a look at the boot space now. Not much boot space available, but uh, once you fold flat the third row bench seat and uh, pull this over, there you have loads of uh, room here to pack in your uh, large luggage suitcases. And yes, you can fold flat the 60-40 split seats up front further to you know carry your living room with you. So just as much as intense and hot and intimidating this SUV is from Mahindra is just as much as safe. You get six airbags in total. You get hill descent control, hill hold control, electronic stability program. You get all the bells and whistles, four disc brakes all around to give you the braking prowess to tame into submission the kind of power it has on offer. So now that I've given you a complete overview of the vehicle, the price is also quite enticing. Starting from 11.99 lakhs X showroom for the manual variant going all the way up to 19.49 again for the manual top end variant for the automatic variants the prices have not yet been announced so you will be getting the price announcement soon so i would request you stay in touch with neon mahindra i'm leaving their contact details in the description portion below such that you are the first person to know as the prices get revealed for the automatic variants for now let's not waste any more time let's hit the road and let's put this beast to the test in the real world conditions Okay, so here we go, testing the high speed stability of the new Scorpio N. Just it's absolutely rock solid. Off we go. 160, 170 Can we make it 180? Yes We touched 180 And uh, it can go further easily And the disc brakes are really really good To give you that confidence to drop the anchor At uh, that kind of speed and still give you the confidence especially for an SUV to do 180 effortlessly that talks about the brilliance that has gone into developing this chassis and the suspension is absolutely out of this world bang on target Mahindra U Beauty the Scorpion rocks okay guys now that I've given you a complete overview of this magnificent beast the Scorpio N the talk of the town an absolute sensation in the Indian motoring scene so let's not waste any more time let's get inside this is the 2 liter turbocharged petrol packed with 203 Royal Indian ponies waiting to be unleashed in the most belligerent way possible so I'm really really grateful to Neon Mahindra for giving me this opportunity to get my hands on this. You guys kept requesting me. I got hundreds of requests to review this as soon as possible. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get going with this. Yes, 203 bhp and uh, around 380 newton meters of torque because this happens to be the automatic rear wheel drive. This is the two wheel drive variant, mind you. And let's slot it into gear. Torque converter gearbox. We have the oh, this feels far more dominating, more intimidating than you come expecting of a Scorpio. This thing is an absolute behemoth of a machine. Almost feels like the Alturas, the mighty, the grand Alturas. 12 speakers, 3D immersive sound, 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system. You don't believe that you're sitting in a Scorpio. That's the way Mahindra have actually made it. They have really challenged the limits and gone to a completely different level altogether while making this. Because when you sit inside, this feels like a car that belongs two segments higher, not just one segment higher. It almost feels like it can take on the likes of Fortuna. That's the kind of feel when you get nice, tall seating, 
tall stance like that of a proper masculine SUV that is here to dominate the road like the king of the road that's the kind of presence that's the kind of feel you get sitting behind the wheel you feel like a king that's ready to rule the road and uh, the steering feel is really really good the driving dynamics I mean the way they have fine-tuned this engine and the gearbox is just phenomenal so we're gonna get started in a little mellow mood because the weather outside is absolutely outstanding and uh, oh <laughs> there you go floor the pedal and the beast comes alive the beast you can call it the Hulk among the SUVs they call it the big daddy among the SUVs I choose to call it the Hulk you remind yourselves of the Hulk with the Hulk Buster armor that's how massive and that's how super intimidating this thing is absolutely phenomenal ho 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 look at this go like a monster truck absolutely blazing through the road We are 140 in no time and I absolutely love the seating on this it kind of hugs you in the kind of lumbar support you get electric seat height adjustment as well and the leather finish all around just lifts your mood to a completely different level boy am I excited this thing is so damn good it is beyond belief it's beyond what you come expecting from a Scorpio from a Mahindra car man they have absolutely nailed this one and kind of uh, made a statement as to what they're capable of when they put their heart and soul into a project independent suspension up front pentalink suspension at the back the steering feel is very very satisfying very easy to maneuver such a huge car it is longer it's wider has a longer wheelbase than the scorpio and even better than that of the fortuner so you can imagine how massive this thing is but the stability man the rush you feel the rush you feel the adrenaline this thing is absolute beast of a machine and the comfort is there the NVH levels are bare minimum you can't feel a thing uh, that's the kind of refinement they've packed into this and uh, my, I'm running short of words man I'm running short of words to praise Mahindra the way they deserve actually it is so damn good so convincing that you will fall in love at first drive love at first drive you can call this this thing is phenomenal in every which way possible and Mahindra have not just made any statement they have walked the talk they have let this machine do the talking man they have nailed it with this one this is gonna sell like crazy mark my words you drive it you stand convinced and completely bowled over by the kind of driving dynamics it has on offer when compared to the previous gen car scorpio there's absolutely no comparison because this thing is on a completely different level altogether yes the old scorpio has that rugged feel yes it has that leg legacy working for it it was the uh, legend that kind of ended the qualis run <laughs> in one go just wiped it off the face of the planet and uh, the moment it entered it captivated people's senses with the kind of masculine design language it had on offer the massive design language proper suv character this one is no different yes it is a body on frame construction but trust me you won't believe that it is a body on frame construction until someone tells you because it drives like a monocoque chassis that's how well built it is that's how well insulated it is when they kind of put their heart and soul into making uh, or resurrecting a legend back to life this thing is an absolute legend and it's a formidable force that's going to literally take on the competition head-on and uh, I'm sure it's going to lead the way in terms of making a quality statement and also a performance statement As you fade away. 